in your cat pose, allow yourself to push with your hands down and to push with your shoulders up. Have your knees underneath the hips or a little bit more back. And make sure that you don't overarch in that lower back. Use your core muscles really strong to hold that lower back in. Not too much that you're round, neutral in the lower back. Exhaling, cat tuck, round, lower, middle, upper back. In cat, lengthen from the base. Vertebra by vertebra. Repeat. Ex cap tap. In cap. We use the spine as our focus. So we focus on vertebra by vertebra. And if we have the spine as the object of our concentration, we learn so much about the spine. That's how Patanjali already writes it in the Yoga Sutras. We maybe can feel vertebra by vertebra, or we feel that we are stiff in certain areas of our spine. And when we practice longer, we may feel that in this physical spine is also an energy spine. Next time, when you are in cat, sway back into child. Tuck your toes under, even flowing. Set your sit bones back, relax your abdomen to the thigh, chest to the knees, forehead to the ground. Ex cat tuck, round neck, chest, tuck the tongue under and come up. In cat, lengthen from the base. Exhaling, cat bow two. Now make sure that you don't collapse in that lower back. Really tone the core. The shoulders go away from the ears. The elbows go back and your torso comes forward. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, mountain, lift mountain. You can use your blocks or for this one you may not need it. Sway back, mountain, lift. Feel the sit bones are high up and your chest is still in the cat alignment. When you're at the furthest point back, feel that you can lower first your lower back, bringing that lower back more to the thighs, and then your chest, the last is the neck and cat. Ex cat tuck, curve your chin in. Now feel this movement in opposite direction. Heels back, the area of the back of the neck forward. Round neck, chest, lower back, drop the knees. In lengthen from the base and ex sway back into child, keep that spine long. Ex cat tuck round from the top to the bottom. In cat lengthen from the base. Ex bow, really work your shoulders away from the ears. In even flowing up. X back, mountain lift, and be in your spine, go vertebra by vertebra down. We most likely know the areas where we are stiff. X cat tuck. In cat and the stiffer areas, really bring all the awareness there. That's the key to get an even healthy spine. X extended child. Ex cat tuck. In cat. You may now know already the sequence, so you just go in your own breathing rhythm. In cat. Ex mountain lift. Relaxing into mountain. Ex cat tuck. In cat. X extended child. Go two more rounds. And the mind, are you focused? And focused also means when the mind wanders to bring it back with that patience.
consistent invitation for the mind to really stay focused. With breath awareness, exhaling cat chat, round neck, chest, lower back, come up. Inhaling cat, lengthen from the base. Release your toes, bring your feet apart, push with your feet into the ground, lift your knees, and with a relaxed spine, sit back. Now, if you in tortoise need to sit on a block, you put your block there, and then you lengthen from the base. Now really sit in between your heels and see how much bolster you need. We're gonna do a twist. Of course, if you have knee problems, you can have one leg straight or both legs straight. From here, twist towards your right. If you sit on a block, you need your hand on a block too or the, have just the fingertips on the ground. Otherwise, you get out of alignment. Twist your belly button to the right, your shoulders, your neck, your head. We go first in a prep for the twist. That gives you the beautiful opportunity to double check your alignment. Are you leaning back or forward? Are you leaning to one side or the other? Sense your heart is over your belly button. And both face lines are even long, so both face lines are really lengthy. Beautiful. And then give permission for your back muscles to relax. And then intensify your twist from the base, lower, middle, upper back. With each inhalation, allow your spine to lengthen. With each exhalation, maybe intensify the twist a little bit without letting go of that beautiful length. Now prepare for unbinding. We unbind from the base of the spine. That means that the head comes out last. So feel you look still over your left shoulder, your belly button twists forward, your ribs twist forward, your shoulder girdle twists forward, then the neck and head. And from here, go to the second side. Twist with your belly button towards your left, with your ribs, with your shoulder, neck and head, into the prep. In prep, we don't use any leverage of the arms. And then check your alignment. Is your heart over your abdominal? So heart cavity over the abdominal cavity. Are both waistlines even long? Are your shoulders leveled? And is your head just in one line with the rest of the spine? Give permission to the back muscles to relax. Then intensify and feel from the base of the spine you intensify. And like a spiral, you intensify the twist, allowing each vertebra to go deeper into the twist. Inhaling, lengthen your spine. And exhaling, allow the twist to deepen. Let's unwind. Feel the head is the last to unwind. First the belly button, then your ribs, your shoulders, neck and head. Hinge forward from your hips. Reach out with your arms into cat. Exhaling cat. Tuck. Inhaling cat. Lower your forearms down where you are. Bring you the palms together, tuck your toes under, and become into forearm mountain. Lift your knees up, send your sit bones back. Now feel that your forearms are beautifully grounded, especially the points on the wrists 
where you normally wear your watch and feel these wrist points that dip in and move forward and your waistline stretch back and up. This forearm mountain is always an alternative if you feel any pain in your wrists. We hold for three deep long breaths. Feel your body as instrument, your breath as an instrument and your mind. Keep breathing, stay focused. Your next exhalation, capta. In cat. Ex child, release your toes, arms forward or back. In an eye gaze to the spot between the eyebrows, neck muscles, and the area between the shoulder blades really relaxed. Hands in a mudra. Your next inhalation, roll up into natural seat. Feel the wave starts in your neck. Round your neck, chest, tuck the tailbone under, come up. Lengthen from the base, hands to the heart. Hinge forward into cat. And I just turn around. You may not want to need, uh, turn around but so you can see me better. We're going to do the gain sequence. Inhaling, extended cat right side. So extend with your right leg back. Then bring your right leg out to the side so your right instep is in one line with your left knee. From here, lean back, bring both shoulders over the hips, interlace your hands in front of you. Now that instep in one line with your knee is Maybe not working for everybody. If you have any hip issues, you may have the foot further forward or back. But ideally, if you see this pose from the side, you don't have your buttocks back, you have your hips forward, and you don't collapse in your upper back, you have your shoulder back and your head back to the invisible wall. From here, interlace your fingers. Let's have for that first side, right thumb on top of left. Watch your breath. And with your next inhalation, lift your toes up and lift your arms up. And from here, we go into gait. The hips move to the right and feel this. Sorry, the hips move to the left and that right femur moves into your hip socket. Now you can release your arm down, but don't put a lot of weight on it. If you feel you want to have a rest with that hand, you have a block behind you. And then have that top arm either straight along the ear, or you bring it back into your back. Hips forward, shoulder and head back to the invisible ball. Dig with your right heel in and bring that left, uh, bring that entire leg moving to the left. Right heel down and the leg to the left. Good. Let's have three more breaths here. Beautiful. From this gate version, we come into side warrior gate. If you have the block here, you can just push with your hand into the block and glide with the foot in. If you don't have the block here, come a little bit back, glide your foot in and bring your knee over the anchor. Now, the bigger this space here is, the more stretch you get. So if you have a shorter distance, this is less stretch. If you have a longer distance, you can really sit down. Good. Make sure that your right foot forearm rests on that thigh and you dig in and forward so to create more space here in that hip joint. Have 
at the back to the invisible wall. Let's just do a little bit more and nice. Good, and then feel your belly button is twisting away from that knee. So you twist it all to the dirt. Beautiful. And you can either look down with your head or look up. If it creates tension, of course, you can move forward. Three more deep breaths here. And from here, we go into warrior again. Your legs stay as they are. Feel there, just stay. The only thing that moves is your shoulders over the hips. See how I have a 90 degree angle here, and the arms come over the side out, look over your middle finger and then feel that the arms are just shoulder level. The shoulders are away from the ears and feel these lower arm muscles, they, they go up to the bones and they hug the bones. Feel once more, the muscles underneath your upper arms Go up and stay hold the bones while your shoulders are relaxed. Very good. Your next exhalation, straighten your right leg, the arms even flowing lower down, the toes forward. Inhaling forward, salute. Exhaling half pyramid. Inhaling extended cat. Move your right leg back and lift it up. Exhaling, lower your leg. Now tuck the tailbone round, round, round and pull your right knee in. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. In, lengthen your spine, lift your leg up, lift your chest, your head. Beautiful, exhale, lower your leg, tuck the tailbone round your spine, pull your knee in. Two more. In, extended cap. X, extended cat, tuck. In, extended cat. X, extended cat, tuck. In, prep for extended cat bow, so the foot just on the floor. Now lower your right foot down. You can have your left hand more to the center on the block or off the block. Then twist your belly button towards your right. Twist your chest, your arm to the right and have your head twisting to the right too. One diagonal line between foot, hip, shoulder and head. Allow your chest to open, lift your sternum and bring your head back to the invisible wall. Beautiful. Feel how all these little muscles work to hold you in the pose. Smile with your heart, smile with your face. And from here we unbind first the head, the arm windmills back, the back here lifts, keep the back leg straight. Prep for extended cat bow, the foot on the floor, and now bow down. Feel that you wait to hold the weight on both arms. Lift your leg up and lower down, then come up again. Good. Back into cap and relax into child asana. After the first side, have a rest. Stay present in all the three instruments. Your body, are you relaxed or can you maybe give yourself more comfort? Your breath, are you using each breath, being totally present and fully in the now with your breath? Are you using your instrument of the mind, staying focused with that breath? Let's repeat on the other side. Inhaling natural seat, round neck, chest, lower back, come up. 
lengthen from the base, hands to the heart. Hinge forward into cat. I'm gonna turn again, inhaling left side extended cat, bringing your leg out to the side and back. Now, as we said at the beginning, I'm practicing on three mats, so my knee is well bolstered, but if you feel you need to bolster your uh, knee, please do so. Left instep in one side, one line with the right knee. Lean back, tone the pelvic floor, the core, both heels of the hands lift even, bring the shoulders over the hip. Interlace the fingers, left thumb on top of right. Inhaling, lift your arms up, lift your toes up. Nice, even flow. Exhale, engage. Hinge from your hips. So in class, I would come around and say, lengthen here. Lengthen that baseline. Good. And then press your left heel down. And the thigh goes into the hip. Twist your belly button away from your knee. The top arm is straight along the ear, or it goes back into the back. Remember, we also have the option of the block, having it behind the knee. Sometimes that helps because you can push onto something to give more length in your torso. Good. Let the breath flow. And from here, either pushing into the block, gliding the foot in, or coming with the torso back, gliding the foot in, and then bring the knee over the ankle, side warrior gate. Have the knee over the ankle, twist your belly button away, twist your torso away from the knee. And see that you create that beautiful stretch here, your maximum opening, so you get a nice good stretch in this Brilliant. From here, bring your shoulders over the hips, arms T. And that gate warrior, look over your middle finger. First, check that the shoulders are really over the hips, that you're not, not leaning forward. Then check that your shoulder, the arms are shoulder height. Sometimes the back arm is a little bit low or higher. And then engage these muscles underneath your upper arms. Move them up and relax the shoulders away from the ears. Three more breaths. With your next exhalation, release your arms down, straighten your left leg, turn the toes forward, left thumb on top of right, inhaling forward, salute. Exhaling back into half pyramid, the hips go back, the chest lowers down, the arm just follow. Extended cat, glide that left leg back. Lift your leg, lift your chest. Exhaling, extended cat, tap around your spine, keep your shoulders over your wrist. In, lengthen your leg back, lift your chest, your head. And legs lower, round neck from the base to the neck. Two more in extended cat. X extended cat tap. In extend. X tap from the base, round pull in. Now inhale, extend your leg back just to the floor. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest, your head. Bring the instep of the left foot behind your right. Bring your right hand to the middle arm. And then come into the balancing pose. Twist your belly button, open your chest, your arm, your neck and head. And feel that extension in opposite direction. Your left foot into the ground your crown of the head forward. Your right hand into the floor, your left arm up. 
long deep breath. And from here we unwind, turn your head down, reach for your arm back, lift your back here, place one hand and the other, and from here, from prep for cat, extended cat bow, we bow down. So we bend the elbows and the degree the chest is lowering, your leg is lifting, and the degree your chest is lifting, your leg is lowering. One more because it's so nice. Carry the weight on both arms even. Beautiful. Even flowing lift. Let's get these arms strong. And then come into cat. That was beautiful, guys. Sway back into child asana. Have a rest. Give your body the full permission to relax. Give your breath the permission to be fullest and find that relaxed focus being in the now. Your next inhalation come up natural seats and if you have knee problems come into cat. If you can't do certain things, don't concentrate on what you can't do. Concentrate on what you can do and just find, alternate with the things. Let's sway into mountain, but please to put your blocks to the side. Spread your fingers wide. It's Pu Mudra, Earth Mudra. All the five knuckles grounded in both hands. Feel all five fingers and both hands beautiful into the ground. Now broaden from your chest out. Lengthen both waistlines back and up. Sit bones high. Heels down. Exhaling, raise slant. Push your heels back. Curl your chin in. With the round spine, come forward. You can either come into raised sled or cat tuck and then cat. We hold here for three breaths. Push your hands down and feel the front of the chest is pushing up. Push your heels back and feel your thighs are pushing up. Tuck the tailbone. Beautiful. From here, drop your knees and lower down. Same here, shoulders away from the ears, elbows back. Lower thighs, abdomen, chest, forehead. Release your toes, hands next to your ribs. Ground your groins down. Inhaling, lift up, Cobra 1. Exhaling, lower down. Repeat. In Cobra 1. Ex, lower down. Remember in Cobra 1. We lift from the crown to the heart, and it's all back strength. Next time, when you up, cobra twist. Twist from the belly button to the right, your shoulders, your neck, your head. Unbind, belly button back to neutral, chest, then neck and head. Left side, belly button, ribs, shoulder, neck and head and unwind. One more if you can, or two more per side if you can. If you need to release, you just come down and you join us again. Feel the twist goes from the base of the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Face down rest for the ones who are finished with the pose. Your arms release back and just before the forehead arrives fully, turn your head towards the right so that your left cheek is really on the ground. Long deep breath. Feel where your breath is expanding.
and you relax a little bit more. Can you breathe a little bit fuller? Be focused, but don't be hard on your focus. Relax concentration. Exhaling face down, forehead down, hands next to the ribs. Shoulders away from the ears, elbows in. In, push your groins into the mat. And feel when you push these groins into the mat, your glute muscles, your buttocks muscles engage. Don't tighten them, just very lightly engage them. In, Cobra One. Lift from the crown to the heart. Exhaling, Cobra Two. Lift from the heart to the pubic bone. Use your hands to lift higher. And now with your next inhalation, feel the double base lengthening from the base. Pubic bone to belly button, belly button to sternum, sternum to throat, to third eye, to crown. And with that long spine, lower down. Don't let your heart drop. Don't drop your head earlier. Go vertebra by vertebra, the head is the last. Inhaling, Cobra One. Lift from the crown to the heart. Exhaling from the heart to the pubic bone. Use your hands. In, lengthen from the very base. And exhale, down. In, Cobra One. Ex Cobra 2. In, lengthen from the base. And ex release. In Cobra 1. Cobra 2 is individual. For some it's just a centimeter higher. Feel that inner length. And then release. And next time when we go from Cobra 2 back into Child, we go just Cobra 1, then Cobra 2, and then we sway back into Child Asana. Choose your A position, forward or back, choose your Mudra, inner eye gaze to the third eye, body relaxed. Adjusting if you need breath long and deep, focused, relaxed, and present. Inhaling natural seat, round neck, chest, lower back, come up, lengthen from the base. Pinch forward from the hips, come into cat. Sway back. Mountain lift, mountain. And in this mountain pose, I give you two options. Option one is exhaling cat tuck, coming down with the round spine. And then clearly lengthening from the base of the spine into cat, and from there going back again. Or you come forward with the round spine, but you don't drop the knees. You lower your knees, your hips, and you lengthen into a raised cobra. And then you sway back into mountain lift, mountain. Let's all start from mountain. Exhaling cat tuck or slant with the round spine. The ones who drop the knees, they go into cat. The ones who go in race cobra, lower your hips and unfold from the base to the crown. Everybody sway back through mountain lift and relax vertebra by vertebra into mountain. Repeat. With the round spine, come forward and down. Push your heels back, both whether you go into raised slant or whether you come to cat. 
or raise leg, lower your hips, lengthen vertebra by vertebra, push with the hands down, everybody, and lift up with your chest. And sway even flowing back, no kicking back, even flow. Use your inner strength. Two more. And next time when you're in mountain, stay there. Inhaling, lift your spine into mountain lift. Exhaling, bend your knees. And then just roll over your toes. Drop your knees out wet and relax back into tortoise. If that little fluke is not possible, just come into cat and then come into tortoise. Sit on a pillow or a block. And again, if your legs forward is not working for your knees, you bring your knees forward. Concentrate on what you can do. Now have your blocks on the side. Bring your hands out to the side. We're gonna bend first to the right, side bending. Feel the base of the spine starts, bending lower back, chest, arm. And then feel your head is not just collapsing here, it's either side bending, really curling in, or it wants to add the twist in the neck to look up. And then you lengthen the spine and the arm release back to second side from the base of the spine. In basics, we do that in standing. Here we do it in another hip opener. Clearly feel the movement starting at the base of the spine going vertebra by vertebra up. Choose your head position, either side bending or twisting. And feel clearly when your head is twisting at the very end. The head unbinds at the very last. So you go into the side bend from the base to the crown. And you come out from the side bend from the base to the crown. Now feel, where are you concentrating? Are you concentrating on the sides, that your sides get a good stretch? Or could you maybe bring the focus to your spine and feeling your spine is getting a side bend? Beautiful. Next time when you are going to the right, stay there in tortoise palm tree asana. And for some, the hands are really good on the floor. For others, they like to have the forearm on the floor. And you see, I have my block here high, but it could be the block low. And some have such a great side bend that they have their forearm on the floor. That's fine too. Good. Feel first the side opening from the hip to the ribs, opening the ribs, and then feel the inner spine in the side bend. And then slowly come back up. And come to the other side. The breath is useful to create more space inside.
ventilating now different areas of your body, opening and stretching them. Don't let your head drop forward, keep your shoulder plates and head against an invisible wall. And then slowly come up, release your arm, and you come into a forward bend from tortoise. If your knees don't like it, come with your legs straight forward. Now when we come into forward bend, just feel that you have that lumbar region really straight. So here you really want to be straight. And from here with that straight beautiful spine you hinge forward. And keep the chest open. Keep your neck up, your head up. And let's be present, focused and present where the stretch is really happening. Breathe into the center of your stretch. Imagine there is a door you want to go through. Not, away, not avoiding any tension or the stretch, rather really meeting it. Stretching sensations are different to pain. If you have any pain, please come out of the pose. I feel there's that stretching sensation. You get a good stretch around a tight area. You want to go into the center of that tension. Beautiful. From here, slowly come up again. If you just want to bring the legs forward, do so. If you want to do a level one transition, hinge forward and flow with me. Cat, swaying back, mountain lift, mountain. From mountain, inhaling first, lift your spine, lower, middle, upper back. Then bend your knees, you're going to jump forward. You don't have to jump all the way to the front, just see how far you come. And from here, relax your spine, bring your blocks as far back as you can and sit down. First into squat, if you can, and then lower down into basic squat. Extend your legs, lengthen your spine. Here feel, can I have a straight back? If not, sit yourself higher up so you are really straight. And then bend. Point your toes forward, relax your spine, bring your right foot in. Bring your right knee out to the side and lengthen from the base. You can bring a block underneath your knee so that when you go into the twist here, you don't lose your alignment. Twist lower, middle, upper back. Feel your hips are pushing down, your chest is lifting up. Relax your back muscles and then deep your twist. Look over your left shoulder. Feel inhaling long and keep that length. Kapalabhati. Long exhalation out. Inhale deep, lengthen your spine once more. Ex unwind, lower, middle, upper back. Then hinge forward into a forward bend. You may can lower your block or remove your block. And remember in that forward bend that your spine stays as straight as possible. 
You can use the belt over the ball of the foot, tower, and feel the front of these hips. They want to come as close to your thigh as possible. The front of your hips. Feel the sternum want to lift up. Think of your belly button drawing in and lifting up to reach towards the knees. Two more breaths here. Beautiful. From here, point your toes forward with the relaxed spine. Come back. Place your hands behind your buttocks. Bring your right knee up. Tuck the tailbone and lift up. Three breaths here. Push with your hands down. Lift with your chest up. Lift your hips up. You may find when you use your buttocks muscles that your hips can come a little bit higher up. Beautiful. Release your buttocks down. Straighten both legs forward. Hinge forward from the hips, hands inner on. Point with your toes forward with the relaxed spine. Come back into L seat. And we go for the second side. Double check that you are nice and upright. I just turn around for my second side. Point your toes forward. Relax your spine. Bring your left foot in. Lengthen your spine. Have your, the back of your sacrum, back of the heart and back of the head in one line. And then twist towards your left. Belly button, ribs, shoulder, neck and head. First into the prep, just 80% of your twist, so then relax your back muscles. And then use your leverage, use your hands to intensify. Kapalabhati. Long exhalation out. Inhale deep. Lengthen your spine once more. Exhale, unwind. Lower middle upper back. And hitch forward into the forward bend. And just demonstrate with the belt. So the belt over the ball of the foot can help you to use that Strength to lengthen your spine, to lift your chest more and to get more length into that lower back. Long deep breath. Here, point your toes forward, with the round spine come back up, place your hands behind you, put your left heel in one line with your right knee, tuck the tailbone and lift up. Three deep breaths here, use your buttocks muscles, push up between the shoulder blades. And then slowly lower down, straighten both legs. If you have really tight hamstrings, just bend your knees and hinge forward. Everybody else, straight legs to roll up, point your toes forward with the round spine come up. And from here we come to the front of the mat. 
and it is a transition of strength. Push with your hands into the mat, lift your hips, bend your knees, come forward. Prep to lower, and this is also a strengthening position. You really use your core here. And then tuck the tailbone under and to come back. Have your toes as long as you can on the floor. The feet lift when the heart is lowering. And you can remember that the heart is related to the air element, meaning when it's getting light like air in your heels, your feet lift. Have your blocks close by. Rock from side to side. For that next part, we're gonna go into a bridge, an inverted bridge. So you, I'm sure you all know what bridge is, but inverted bridge is with, when we are in bridge, so have a look here. When we are in bridge, we're gonna place our blocks underneath. You can have the blocks high, medium high or low. And then you can bring either one leg up and hold, or you can bring both legs up. The way to bring it up is you lift the heels, you bring your knees over the hips, and then you straighten your legs. If you feel, oh, that's a bit much for me now, I want to take it a little bit easier, go against the wall and just put your legs up against the wall, or have one block on the knee. Let's go together. From partial recline, Roll vertebra by vertebra up into bridge pose. And then roll down vertebra by vertebra. Be aware, rolling through bridge one, which goes to the belly button, bridge two, which goes to the chest, the diagonal line, and then you lift higher maybe into that back bend. It's having your hips and heart high. Then you roll down, feel vertebra by vertebra, rolling down. It's no problem if you just can do a bridge one or one and a half, that's fine. Concentrate on what you can do, we do our best and that's always good enough. Don't feel you need to be anybody else than you are. Next time when you're up in bridge, hold bridge, place your blocks. So they can be flat, they can be two blocks on top of each other, or they can be high two blocks on top of each other. Make sure it's really up at the back of your pelvic, so at the sacrum and make sure that you don't feel any edge in the digging into your lower back. If that's the case, please lift your belly button higher up. Relax your neck, your shoulders. And then see whether you want to lift both legs up or whether you want to bring your right knee in and straighten your right leg up. For the ones who do one leg, you hold five breaths each leg. Everybody, make sure you maintain that bridge alignment. Long, deep breath. Want to do single leg, please change.
we slowly release from the second side. You want to have both legs up, release both legs down. Lift your hips, have one inhalation here before you release your blocks. Then even flowing, release your blocks. When you have finished releasing your blocks, then lower vertebra by vertebra. And one deep breath and partially fly. Knees to chest, round your lower back, then tucks your tailbone, lift your heels, and bring your knees in. If you feel you want to release your sacrum plate, have your hands on the knees and circle with your hands. Change direction. Reclined butterfly. You can have a pillow underneath your head. Find your hands in a mudra. At any time when you want to come out of reclined butterfly, just do so into Shanti Asana, final relaxation. I won't especially guide you through. Inhale, the lower, middle, upper lungs. Exhaling, release the air. Feel how the air flows out. At the end of the exhalation, your belly button goes to the lower back. And you bring the awareness all the way down to your pelvic floor. Inhale, lower, middle, upper lungs. Visualize the energy of the breath going to the throat, third eye crown. And exhale, release all the air out until you fully exhale out. Belly button to the lower back, and maybe even a little tone in your pelvic floor. Allow a bit of a rest after your full inhalation, maybe three to five seconds. And with this breathing technique for three more breaths. Let go after your next exhalation. Conscious transition, releasing from complete breath into natural breath. Effortless inhalation down into the abdomen. 
effortless exhalation of With each exhalation, allow yourself to relax deeper into your mat. The jaws relax and the eyes relax, resting in the eye sockets. Inner eye gaze to the inner eye gaze. Allowing each thought to pass through your mind's awareness. Letting go into the inner flow. 